small little haul so I it was payday for me today so I picked up a few things from Shoppers Drug Mart and a pet store so the first things I got are from the pet store and they're both from a company called Mane and Tail I know you guys probably are like, really um, I hate my hair short uh, it was a disaster to cut my hair short my hair does grow pretty fast but I want to kick it and say get going so I thought I tried the shampoo and conditioner and see how it worked out because a lot of people said it made their hair grow fairly fast or a little faster, especially people who had like dead hair. I don't have dead hair, so this is probably going to make my hair grow like mega fast maybe, hopefully. Um, these are both $12 and they are one liter bottles, so yeah. And this stuff is actually made for horses. Um, it was actually made in New Jersey for show horses, but then... Um, I guess the horse owners use it on their own hair or something like that and now it's popular everywhere. But I went to a pet store to get this because I couldn't find it anywhere else. Um, I also got this. This is the original mane and tail hoof maker. It's a hand and nail therapy and it actually says on the back <laughs> that um, it was discovered, like this product was like discovered to be good for people when the owners, when they put it on the horse's feed, they noticed that their hands and nails like the health, the health of their hands and nails improved. So I got this. It was only five bucks. So I have like three main and tail items. So you guys want me to do a review on main and tail? Um, then I will. From shoppers, um, I got four things. First thing I picked up was a Revlon Kissable Balm, Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain. And this is in the color Sweetheart. That's the color right there. I'm wearing it on my lips right now just to test it out. It's a really nice pink color. Next, I picked up the. What is this? Revlon Colorstay Whipped Cream Makeup. Um, I've tried the original Colorstay Liquid. Wasn't impressed at all. I've heard good things about this, however, so I thought I'd give it a try. And it's a lot thicker than the <clears throat> old, or the Revlon I tried before. So I may have better luck with this. I don't know. Revlon face products never usually work for me. Yet, or Revlon in general usually doesn't work with me. But then again, I haven't tried a lot of Revlon, so oh well. Next is this Revlon Colorstay Aqua Mineral Makeup. Um, I've heard mixed about this. Um, some people say it has glitter in it. From looking at it, I don't see glitter. Or maybe there's the setting powder. I don't know. It was one of these. But I picked this up in the color light, because that's usually what I am. And it comes with this little brush, which it's okay. It's not super soft, but it's not bad. Um, I don't think I'm going to use it to apply powder. It's, to me, it looks like a foundation type brush. Sort of like this kind of brush, but denser. I don't know. I don't think it's going to work for the powder, but oh well. And this was on sale, it was like $13 or something, $13 to $14, it was originally like $20, so got that. And then the last thing I got was a Travelo, a little Travelo thing, and this was $12, and normally, um, where I see these at London Drugs, they're like $19, so I got a bit of a discount. So it says Travelo, and it's the little pink one. And it's really small, and I'm just going to use it for travel products. So, yeah, that was my little haul. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys later. Bye, everyone.